Berg, what up? You know I keep a play in motion. Yo, what's up? This your homie Ice Big and Bird reporting live from Live House 327, the official flagship store of the Live House brand. And right now, you logged on to Miami305.com. Shout out to that boy Matt Hoyos. I go by the name of Bill. My nigga Buddha told me, drive why he go to work. He damn near fell out the window. I had the holy shirt. Yeah, see, Damage is done too, man. That's my pride and joy. That's my album, dog. And I ain't gonna lie, I've been finished with it for a long time. But every time I feel like I'm all or all the way finished with it, I get kind of scared and shit because this is the first project that I'm ever putting a title album on. You know what I mean? Like every project I ever dropped was a mixtape, whether it may be all original, whether it may be super, super all original, no samples, no nothing. It's the first project I'm putting album on. So the shit kind of got me really spooked in the common sense, like. But I know it's gonna be hard because I'm, I'm following the same formula as Damage Is Done One. But that's dropping December, and all I can ask for my fans is just to support it. And when they hear some shit that sound kind of different, just give it the chance. You feel me? Just take it in, vibe to it, smoke a blunt, ride to it, vibe with your mama, vibe with your your girlfriend, vibe with your best partner to it. You feel me? And just. Just take it in all the way before you get your judgment on all the social media shit. And that's why I'm really giving it to my core fans out the gate because it's something I'm putting a lot, a lot of fucking time and effort to. And I can say one thing about it is I'm cutting it down. Like a lot of my mixtapes have 19 to 21 to 23 songs on it. I'm giving them an ample amount of tracks that I feel like the, would be the best complete body of work. You know what I mean? And it's just gonna be something special because it's opening, a, it's opening up a door, and it's gonna be a big mile marker for me and my career. Cause I'm actually gonna be selling it out my flagship store. Like I ain't worried about iTunes, I ain't worried about Title, Spotify, which I am worried about. But the main thing I'm, I'm pushing is for them to pull up to the live house store and come buy it from me personally. And get that dap, get that hug, get that picture, get that Snapchat, get that IG with me and just show the world that you support in my first independent solo out. I've been on the road, the vision vivid as fuck, the future looking bright. The flagship store is Live House 327. It's located in North Miami, Florida. You know what I mean? Um, I put it in North Miami right off the Golden Glaze Interchange on 167th Street just for people in West Palm, Broward, and down south. You know, it's like kind of in the middle of everything, you know. We probably like an hour away from Homestead and we probably like an hour away from West Palm if you're driving real slow. So it's just like in the heart of the Tri-Counter area, you know, where you could pull up, cop you a Live House shirt. As you know, two, three years ago, we started Live House um, and just in um, celebration of my independence, you know, when I became a solo independent artist and I started Live House, I started selling dope ass Live House shirts with the fucking wings on it that everybody fell in love with. So I said I had to get a physical location outside of online because a lot of my fans really on the on the grizzly and don't really even got time to be ordering stuff online and stuff so i put a flagship store in the middle of south florida you know and that's what i did man i'm just i'm just going with the flow man whatever i think good and whatever i think positive is moving me forward and that's what we came up with the live house 327 store we sell men and women fashion shit you feel me Face out. It's hard to hear this bitch talk because I'm face down.